Hi everybody, how are you today? I hope you're staying warm and dry. It's kind of a dreary way day today, but, um, but I've got good news and it's all about Jesus. Do you remember last week, uh, we talked about Jesus getting baptized. This is from my adventure Bible storybook and his cousin John um, baptized Jesus in a river. And when he came up out of the river, a dove appeared. And the words, this is my son with whom I am well pleased. And of course, that was God talking, talking about Jesus, his son. Well, after Jesus was baptized, sorry, that's John, Jesus. After Jesus was baptized, he began his ministry. First, he went out into the desert for 40 days and 40 nights, and he didn't eat anything. And the devil came and tried to tempt him, but Jesus wasn't falling for it. He knew God would give him the strength that he needed. After he got back from being in the desert, he started his ministry. Everywhere he went, he told people about God and what they needed to do to know God. And I think he probably realized it was a big job to do. So he started looking for helpers, for friends, if you will, to help him teach other people about God. Now, we often call these people disciples, Jesus' first disciples. And the word disciple simply means follower of a teacher a follower of a teacher. I am a disciple of God because I follow the teachings of God, of Jesus, right? So our story today is going to be about when Jesus found his first disciples. Now in this book, in this um, Bible story book, it's um, called 12 Men. So can you guess how many followers, how many initial disciples that Jesus had? I hope someone said 12. Let's practice 12. 12 is five plus five and two more. Five and five and two more is 12. And that's how many people Jesus first asked to be his disciples. So here's our story. I'll read and then I'll show you the pictures, okay? 12 men. Every place Jesus went, he told the people, turn back to God. One day in Galilee, Jesus was walking along the shore of a lake. He saw two brothers. One was named Peter and the other was Andrew. They were throwing a big net into the lake to catch fish. Peter and Andrew were fishermen. Jesus said to them, come with me. I will teach you how to bring in people instead of fish. The two brothers dropped their nets and followed him. So first we have Jesus on the shore. And there are Peter and Andrew in their fishing boat, casting nets to catch fish. And Jesus said, I'll teach you how to catch people instead of fish. Now they weren't going to catch the people and eat them like they would the fish. He was going to help them catch people and tell about God, okay? So a little bit of a difference there. Jesus walked on until he saw James and John, the sons of Zebedee. They were in a boat with their father, mending their nets. Mending is a fancy word for fixing. They were fixing their nets. Jesus asked them to come with him too. Right away, the brothers left their father and went with Jesus. There's that picture. So they were fixing their nets. They were doing their work with their father. Jesus says, come, come on, follow me. Let's go do this instead. And they did it. They didn't even pause. They didn't even take a break. They just went. Now that's kind of hard for some of us to believe these days, right? If your mom works at Kroger or um, your dad is at, um, he's a fireman and Jesus showed up and said, hey, come on, leave your job. Come follow me. That would be kind of strange, I think. But these men did it. They followed him right away. After a while, Jesus had chosen eight 
more men to go with him and tell the people about God. Their names were Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, Matthew, James, so there were two James, Thaddeus, Simon, and Judas. The 12 men became his students, his special disciples. Jesus taught them everything God wanted them to know. There they are all together. There's Jesus in the middle, and then all of his disciples, his followers. He's teaching them, so his followers are called disciples. Can you say that? Disciple? Yeah, it's kind of a bigger word. Disciple is a follower of a teacher. And in this case, Jesus was the teacher. Well, boys and girls, the good news is, is that it didn't stop with these 12 men. Now there are millions of disciples all around the world, including you. If you want to learn about Jesus and about God and about their love and how to treat other people, then you are a disciple, just like me. It's our job once we learn to tell other people, kind of like I'm telling you right now. Jesus loves you very much. He wants you to be kind. He wants you to treat other people nicely. He wants you to share. And he wants you to know he loves you very, very, very much. See, it's as easy as that, being a disciple. Let's say a prayer. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for my friends. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my school and for my teachers. Help me to be a good disciple. And we all say together, amen. All right, have a great week. We'll be back together soon, disciples. All right, bye-bye.